Hello everyone, Karen Joseph here with Seven Networking. Hello Shelly, how are you today honey? Good to see you. How's everything going in your neck of the woods? I know you must be busy, busy, busy. That's why, hello Evelyn, how are you? Hello, hello, we're going to talk about, hey Kate, how are you? Frontline MI, welcome, welcome. We're going to chat today why every entrepreneur needs to take a vacation. Do you guys ever take vacations or all you're doing is busy, 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 working, working, working? Hey, Kelly, how are you doing? Win with oils. Good to see everyone today. Ross, welcome, welcome, welcome. Look at this beautiful cruise ship. Uh, you all deserve a vacation. Let me tell you, let me flip this around so we can get started chatting away. Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I just sat here at my desk eating my lunch, probably ate for maybe three minutes. You're college shopping. Oh, fun. Tabitha Dumas, how are you doing? So I sat here at my lunch, at my lunch, I sat here at my desk eating my lunch and I'm like, you know, I'm always working, right? How many hours a day, if you figured out how many hours a day do you think you're working on your business? Just a rough estimate. I would say some days are 12 hours for me, some days are 15 hours. You know, we work hard as entrepreneurs, don't we? How many hours a day? Now, I will say my hours are broken up because, yes, orange, yes, orange, orange, orange. Hello, Keisha, how are you doing? My hours are broken up eight hours a day because, you know, mom first and a wife and have to take care of all the things in the household, household. But when everyone goes to sleep at night, guess what? Are you up working? I am. I'm up late. I'm answering emails. Twelve at least for you. Yep. Broken up as well. Exactly. Keisha, how are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. I know you have a full-time job. And you have your business on the side, right? And you're a mom and you're a wife. So think about all the things we need to do in our day. And I'll tell you why you need to take a vacation. It is very, very, very important for the mind, for the body, for the soul. Time to decompress. Super busy. So these are my reasons why and feel free to add to them. Showing you a networking group promoting Saturday. <laughs> you're so funny. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah, Saturday, if anybody wants to come and join us, if you are in the Phoenix area, we will be talking about Periscope. Periscope, Scottsdale Fashion Square, 9 a.m. It is a Periscope meet and greet. You don't need to be on Periscope. We will do a little training, a little fun. So come out and join in. It won't be a vacation, but I promise you it'll be fun. All right? Thanks, Kelly. So anyhow, these are reasons why every entrepreneur needs a vacation. Oh, you have class, adult coloring. It's very calming. I love that. Hello, Flavi. How are you? Welcome, welcome. So yeah, these are reasons why everyone who's an entrepreneur needs a vacation. Well, everyone needs vacations. Vacations are very important. See, Flavi's exhausted. You need to treat yourself to a vacation. Let me tell you why. First of all, you deserve it. All right. No one, when you're your own boss, no boss is good. You don't have a boss. You're your own boss, right? You deserve to give yourself a week off to do nothing. If you want to do nothing, just book four weddings. That's great. If you want to go skiing, hello, Miss Yanni, go skiing. If you want to go up to the mountains, go up to the mountains. You deserve it. You deserve to take time off. We work hard, right? You can never get those moments back that you're spent working, right? You deserve to take a vacation. Your brain needs time. Your beach people. I love the beach as well. It is so relaxing. Oh, just looking at the blue water. I can envision it now. Your brain. My second thing is your brain needs time to, um, to reset, right? Needs time to get cleared out and to reset. It's so important. Next thing is number three. You need time to just unplug and relax, right? Unplug from all the social media, from Periscope. You're going to Florida in July. Nice. Very nice. I'm glad. Are you guys driving again, Tabitha? Um, that's great that your grandma's turning 90. How exciting. Hello, Vivi Mel. How are you today? Um, you need time to unplug, right? 
social media, it takes up, ooh, driving but in a bigger vehicle. Nice. Shooting maternity there in April. Nice. See, you're getting around. But you need time to unplug. Will you unplug when you're in Florida, Tabitha? Or is it going to be work, 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 and a little bit of play mixed in? I don't know. Then back for family vacation in June. Nice. Yes, family vacations are wonderful. You know, it's a great way to build memories. Um, my kids have fabulous memories of going to Disney World. Yes, very little work. Going to Disney World when they were younger. Um, we did do one road trip as a family, and um, we went. We drove to Missouri. That finished my kids off. They will not go on any more road trips again. But it did build memories. We had some good times. So, yes. Yeah. So, family vacations are so important. Another thing is your mind clears. Oh, my kids now are 13 and 17. 17-year-old does not even want to be with us. Um, you know, she's independent, has a car, goes to work. The 13-year-old still still wants to be with his mama. So, <laughs> So he's still on vacation with me. Exactly, exactly. Teenagers, you know, you know who that is. So you know how that is. So enjoy them when they're super duper little because there's nothing like it. I wish I could make my kids small again, but I can't. I've tried. Doesn't work. I'll tell you. Does not work. Yep. The little ones. Yes. Hello, Pedal Sports. Welcome. I know. Moody Mama of three. Oh, my goodness. It sounds like you need a vacation, Moody Mama. Tell us your name, please. So, yes, you need to clear your mind. And usually when you're away, like I went on a cruise over Christmas, you know, with the family. And I just found when we were out at sea, my mind was clear. Hi. And I had time to really um, think about my business and do some planning for 2016. And it was great because I just wasn't thinking about the day-to-day -day stuff. Um I did close my business down for the for the week, the week between Christmas and New Year's. That's just that one week that I closed down seven networking, and it's great to recharge. Yes, Moody Mama of three. Your last name is Moody. Well, there you go. <laughs> Your boys are 10 and 6, and they still adore you. They're, yes, cherish that. I'm telling you, Tabitha, it goes by too fast, too fast, too fast. Another thing is when you're on vacation, you can meet new people, which is super duper duper cool. I mean, I've met some great people on vacation that I've kept in touch with over the years. So you never know. Could be a friend you meet somewhere. Could be someone that you're going to do business with down the road. You never know. Also, there's huge health benefits in going away on vacation, right? You can sleep more. I don't know about you people, but I get maybe six, seven hours of sleep a night that is not enough for me. I'm an eight, nine, 10 hour gal. And when I go on vacation, I could sleep 12 hours a night just to like, you know, get my hours in. And oh, it's always dark in hotel rooms. <laughs> you can make it really super dark. Ah, oh, divine for sleeping. So huge health benefits for taking some time off and getting some rest in eating better because you have more time to either prepare meals or, you know, find some healthy restaurants. So that's important too. And another thing is time to read. Last vacation I went on, when I went on the cruise, I actually read a book cover to cover for the very first time in a long time. And it was so nice. There was a little library on the cruise ship. I walked in, I took out a couple books, I read one in a day because it was a day out at sea and there wasn't much happening. And of course it was a business related book, but you're taking a pile of books to the like, great. It was business related, but it was wonderful just to have that opportunity, the time where I could sit and read, where the phone wasn't ringing, where I didn't have to answer emails. Peggy McGill, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I owe you an email, Miss Peggy. The 7 Networking in Ohio um, meetup is set up. Someone joined today, so look for it. Go on meetup, type in 7 in, um, in Ohio. If you can't find it, I will send you the link later. That is exciting. Peggy McGill is starting a seven networking in Ohio. So yeah, so there are many, many, many benefits. Oh, good. Fabulous. There are many benefits of, hey, Lori, of going on a vacation. Lori knows she loves to vacation. She always is showing pictures from her little beach trips with her hubby and vacationing. You need to have that time to recharge, relax, get away. 
Um, people always say, oh, I don't have the money to go on a vacation. You know what? In my eyes, you don't have the money not to go on vacation. Save. You can save your pennies. My daughter said to me today, she goes, Mom, can we go out for lunch? And I was like, no, I'm saving my money. I'm saving to go on a cruise, the networking cruise in October. If anybody wants to join us, um, it's going to be fabulous. You don't need to be a, you don't need to be a networker to come. Lori went on the last cruise we did um, out of California. This one is going to be leaving from Florida, and the gal who um, who is arranging everything for us, her name is Debbie Peck. She will be on the Fab Show tonight. So here, let me turn around her card. If you want to take a screenshot of that. So if you have any questions about the cruise, here, I guess I shouldn't hold it right up in front of my face, maybe here. Um, travel, travel bug, Debbie Peck, contact her. And, um, you know, if you want to come on the networking cruise, that's great. If you want to go on another vacation, that is wonderful too. Just remember, you deserve to have some time to yourself, some time with no business calls, no email, Fab tonight at what time? The Fab Show is always um, 6.30 p.m. Pacific, which is 7.30 here in Arizona. So, yeah, so Fab Show right here at 7 Networking. We're going to talk with Debbie tonight about traveling. She's with the Travel Bug. She's been a travel agent for, I think, 20-some-odd years. So she certainly knows a lot. So we can ask her questions about all her favorite trips and learn out more about learn more about her. So I will see you all later tonight. Got to run. Got to take my daughter to the doctor. Um, so, like, as I said, we're entrepreneurs. We're always running, 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 running. Okay, try to be on tonight, Miss Lawyer. Are you in town? I don't know where you are these days. You're always traveling. But maybe you'll think about coming on the networking cruise with us. This is in October. It's an amazing ship, Allure of the Seas. Yes, you're in town. Great. Allure of the Seas. And there's fabulous activities on the ship and also goes to... Um, some great ports of call, some great islands in the Caribbean as well. So think about if you want to join us. It's going to be fun. I promise you that. It is going to be fun. All right, my friends. I will see you all later. Thank you for spending your um, some time with me. I always, always appreciate it. I know time is very valuable, and um, I love that we can come on here, learn from each other, be together, cheer each other on in business, and um, share ideas. So have a great, fabulous afternoon, and I will see you all later, 6.30 p.m. Pacific, for the Fab Show. Have fun. Thank you, Keisha. You have a great day, too, honey. Super duper duper. Bye-bye.